Now that we've confirmed that um, Trump supporters, some of us, were wrongfully being surveillanced and listened to in our homes, let me tell you some of the stuff that they heard in my house, which probably had them freaking out, besides what we were saying about the pig farm across the street. You know, they heard this man rape me, and they heard me tell him no. They also heard me when I cried in celebration about Trump being elected on November 8th, 2016. And they heard me announce it and my family get mad because I woke them up. Didn't I do that, boo? I cried, didn't I? You guys were mad, weren't you? Because it was not because of Trump. They were mad because I celebrated so loudly after we had had a long day going and helping and doing our part with the election by voting, and then I took people around to help them get to the voting uh, polls. They also heard when the Democrats called my house to let us know that they knew Uncle Richard hadn't voted and how nasty I had to get with them to get them to stop calling my phone. There's other things that they heard, too, like my wonderful support of Donald Trump Mr. Pence, and pretty much all of the cabinet members that he wound up getting into office over there. Hey! So these people know that I'm the real deal. They watched me for years, and then they illegally surveillanced me, knowing that I am a victim in this situation, which is a violation of my right to privacy. Also, because they did not have a valid warrant and I'm a victim, they can't use any of the evidence that they've collected. And there's really not any, except for crimes that were committed against me and my family. Imagine that. So, you know, we pretty much got them licked at every turn. And I know they are livid because we're clean. We're 100% clean. There's nothing that they can charge us with. Imagine that. Have a blessed day.